AI supercomputer, the engine behind the large language model breakthrough. The name of that project, General Robotics 003. NVIDIA's Project Groot represents a significant advancement in robotics, aiming to transform the industry. This cutting-edge model enables humanoid robots to understand natural language and mimic human movements, rapidly acquiring skills such as coordination and navigation. Can these advancements lead to a future where robots seamlessly integrate into everyday life? Or do they pose unforeseen risks? Revolutionizing Robotics with Project Groot NVIDIA's Project Groot marks a significant leap forward in robotics, aiming to revolutionize the industry. This advanced model enables humanoid robots to assimilate and interact with their environment in a more natural manner. Utilizing a combination of programmed instructions and observational learning, these robots rapidly acquire new skills, such as coordination and navigation, by mimicking human actions. At the core of this innovation is NVIDIA's Jetson Thor, a specialized computer utilizing the Thor system on a chip and a cutting-edge GPU based on the Blackwell architecture, designed to enhance AI performance significantly. Groot's core technology lets robots understand natural language and copy human movements. They can quickly learn important skills like coordination, dexterity, and navigation. Thor can also run complex AI models like Groot, allowing robots to work safely with humans. NVIDIA isn't stopping at hardware, though. They've upgraded their Isaac Robotics platform, giving developers all the tools they need to get the most out of Groot and Jetson Thor. Another exciting development is Isaac Lab, an app that uses GPUs to run many robot learning simulations at once. This helps advance new learning techniques. NVIDIA also introduced Osmo, a service that organizes data generation, model training software, and hardware across different environments. This tool helps teams work together smoothly and use resources efficiently, speeding up innovation. NVIDIA has also introduced Isaac Manipulator and Isaac Perceptor. Isaac Manipulator gives robotic arms better dexterity and AI capabilities, speeding up their tasks by up to 80 times. Many partners are already using this powerful tool. Isaac Perceptor, on the other hand, gives robots 3D multi-camera vision, improving their awareness in work environments. Companies like ArcBest, BYD, and Keon Group are using Isaac Perceptor to boost their operations, making them more efficient and safer. While NVIDIA hopes embedded AI will solve big human challenges, they are also exploring new worlds of technology. NVIDIA's Omniverse has just gotten even better with a more powerful simulation engine that captures the physical world in stunning digital detail. This engine acts like a virtual training ground where robots can practice and learn in a controlled setting before taking on real-world tasks. With five new APIs, Omniverse now has tools that can create lifelike data, manage scene interactions, track changes, and support real-time collaboration in 3D environments. The latest Omniverse Cloud update adds an exciting feature, direct streaming to Apple's Vision Pro. This means users can now explore and interact with the digital world using augmented reality. They can build virtual spaces, work with 3D models, and collaborate with others around the world, all within NVIDIA's shared virtual environment. These updates not only improve how Omniverse looks and works, but also make it more useful. Developers and designers can now work together from anywhere, building complex models and scenarios without needing to be in the same place. The ability to interact in real time through augmented reality makes remote collaboration more dynamic and interactive, leading to faster innovations and more precise results. This boost in Omniverse's capabilities is set to change industries by providing a safe space to test and refine ideas without the risks and costs of real-world trials. The advanced simulation engine allows for experiments in many fields, from robotics to urban planning, opening up new possibilities for breakthroughs that used to be too complex or expensive to try. By providing a virtual sandbox for testing ideas, NVIDIA is paving the way for innovations that can revolutionize how we approach problems and create solutions.
With these advancements, the line between digital and real-world experiences continues to blur, making once impossible tasks achievable and opening doors to new opportunities. At the heart of the Blackwell GPU is the world's most powerful AI chip, with an incredible 208 billion transistors. These transistors are grouped into two advanced GPU arrays, linked by a super-fast connection, creating a massive computational force. But Blackwell isn't just about raw power. It also includes a second-generation transformer engine using advanced algorithms and 4-bit AI processing to support larger model sizes. Additionally, Blackwell supports NVIDIA's fifth generation of bi-directional performance, reaching speeds of 1.8 terabytes per second. This ensures smooth, high-speed communication among up to 576 GPUs, allowing complex AI models with trillions of parameters to run efficiently. Blackwell also has a dedicated racing engine and advanced security features. These improvements enhance reliability, availability, serviceability, and security, key factors for successful AI projects. By pushing the limits of GPU capabilities, Blackwell is setting new standards for speed, efficiency, and security in AI technology. These advancements are game-changing. They allow researchers and developers to handle larger, more complex datasets and models, paving the way for innovations that could transform entire industries. For example, in fields like climate modeling, pharmaceuticals, and self-driving cars, where massive data and intense computations are common, Blackwell's capabilities could lead to breakthroughs that greatly speed up progress. Blackwell's impact goes beyond sheer computational power. Its advanced architecture and AI tools make it crucial for future technologies. With Blackwell, NVIDIA is not just enhancing current computing systems, but also shaping the future of AI applications, opening new possibilities for scientific research and digital creation. And the potential for what comes next is even more exciting. NVIDIA's new NVLink works with Blackwell as an amazing switch chip that enables super-fast communication among all GPUs. This switch, with its 50 billion transistors and four NVLink ports, lets every GPU in a system talk to all other GPUs at top speeds at the same time. This innovation makes it possible to build huge AI systems that combine the power of multiple DGX systems into one rack, thanks to the incredible speed and connectivity of NVLink. NVIDIA has also introduced updated inference microservices and the NEMO platform. NEMO is a tool that makes it easy to pick and adjust AI models to fit specific needs while keeping security in mind. These platforms help businesses and researchers use the latest AI advancements without needing specialized knowledge or resources. NVIDIA is also speeding up AI adoption across different industries. They are helping tech companies develop AI assistants and intelligent agents tailored to their specific fields. Using the NEMO and NIMS platforms along with their powerful DGX cloud infrastructure, NVIDIA's AI Foundry offers a complete solution for developing and deploying AI. In another exciting development, Shutterstock has launched a new text-to-3D service based on NVIDIA's advanced Edify architecture, allowing users to create 3D assets directly from text prompts. Additionally, Getty Images now lets businesses customize the Edify base model to match their brand's visual style. Starting in May, new APIs will offer features like sketch depth and segmentation, giving creative professionals more control over AI-generated images. Getty Images and Shutterstock's pre-designed Edify models are available for testing through NVIDIA's inference services. These advancements are a big step forward in making powerful AI tools more accessible and customizable, changing how industries use AI to improve their operations and creative processes. But that's not the end of it. These developments not only enhance AI tools, but also open new possibilities for innovation, making it easier for everyone to engage with artificial intelligence in meaningful ways. With NVIDIA's ongoing improvements, the future of AI looks even more promising. Next, let's see how NVIDIA's tech is tested and applied in the real-world setting of the Isaac Lab. NVIDIA's Crucible for Robotic Pioneering 
The Isaac Lab that NVIDIA has developed is like a virtual training ground where robots go through tough testing. It helps improve how they work in the real world by simulating many different scenarios. It might sound complicated, but it's really just about making sure robots can handle various tasks before they actually do them. When NVIDIA's founder and CEO Jensen Huang steps onto the stage, you're looking at one of the most valuable companies globally, worth trillions. Yet compared to other tech giants like Microsoft, Amazon, and Google, NVIDIA seems mysterious. Those companies have clear roles, but NVIDIA often seems focused on video games or video technology. Their technical language doesn't help much either. They mention things like CED, Billion Chip Isaac Perceptor, and Humanoid Robot called Thor, which sound impressive but aren't easy to understand. After trying to figure out NVIDIA's operations and valuation for a month, I've decided to simplify things. Let's focus on three simple words that explain why NVIDIA is such a powerhouse. First, fabless. This means NVIDIA doesn't make their own chips. Instead, they design them and have other companies, like TSMC in Taiwan, manufacture them. This might seem strange since Silicon Valley is known for making chips. But being fabless has worked well for NVIDIA, allowing them to thrive without owning factories. This concept isn't new. In the 1980s, the fabless model started to grow, led by TSMC. Companies like NVIDIA designed the chips, which are then produced in huge, complex factories. This approach changed how the chip industry works. NVIDIA started from a meeting in a Denny's in San Jose in April 1993, where three men decided to create a fabless company. They eventually partnered with TSMC. The name NVIDIA comes from NV for next version and NVIDIA, the Latin word for envious, hinting at their branding challenges from the start. Today, Jensen Huang, the CEO, continues to lead NVIDIA. They focus on tackling complex graphics by developing extra hardware that can be added to computers to enhance 3D imaging. This strategy shows their aim to help computers handle more intricate and visually demanding tasks. NVIDIA's journey from a simple idea to a major tech player shows their ability to innovate and adapt. With their focus on advanced graphics and AI, they're shaping the future of technology in ways that are both exciting and a bit mysterious. If you're curious like many, you might be wondering what NVIDIA is really up to. Since they don't make their own chips, why is being fabless such a big deal? Let's explain. Imagine looking at a chip. It's like seeing a whole new world. Making this chip is incredibly complex, like placing every single grain of salt in the perfect spot. That's the kind of precision required. For NVIDIA, their job is to make sure the design they create is perfect. Even a small mistake in the design can make the entire chip useless. This might seem simpler than actually making the chips, but it's just as important. This division of labor, where NVIDIA focuses on design and others handle manufacturing, makes going fabless a smart move. Even though starting a chip order can cost millions, it's worth it. This strategy really shaped NVIDIA's path in the 90s as they became known for graphics. By the late 90s, financial pressures were high, and NVIDIA went even more fabless. They started simulating chips on computers, which means they could see how the chip would work without making a physical prototype. This saved them a lot of money and speed up production, helping them survive and thrive as a fabless company. However, this wasn't the end of their innovation. As building fabrication plants, fabs, became more expensive, NVIDIA's model made even more sense. Eventually, even companies like AMD, which used to own fabs, changed their strategies. Now, NVIDIA is also developing software to improve their chip designs, pushing the limits of a process called computational lithography, which is essential for making advanced chips. In the 2000s, NVIDIA built a protective moat around its technologies. An early NVIDIA YouTube video shows a key figure who got his PhD from Stanford in 2004. His research was about using GPUs or graphics processing units for more than just games and graphics. This was a big deal because, starting in 1999, NVIDIA called their graphics cards GPUs, 
showing they could be used for much more. Unlike CPUs, which solve problems one at a time, GPUs can handle many problems at once. This is great for graphics, where lots of light and texture calculations can be done simultaneously, making things faster. This ability to handle both gaming graphics and professional tasks has set NVIDIA apart, allowing them to focus on innovation and design instead of the complexities of making chips. NVIDIA's focus on design and simulation has allowed them to stay ahead in the tech world. By leveraging their fabless model, they can innovate rapidly and efficiently, creating cutting-edge technology that powers everything from video games to advanced scientific research. With NVIDIA continually pushing the boundaries, the future looks bright for this tech giant. There are tons of tiny dots that make up your screen, and Ian, along with NVIDIA, realized these could be used for much more. This idea led to the creation of CUDA around 2006, which stands for Compute Unified Device Architecture. If you check NVIDIA's YouTube channel, you'll see that initially, CUDA was a special tool for scientists. We're really interested in seeing if we can bring different types of physics onto the card, they said back then. NVIDIA saw the huge potential in what they were creating. By their 2007 annual report, CUDA was getting a lot of attention. Imagine holding a chip and thinking about how CUDA-enabled GPUs let engineers and scientists tackle complex problems that were once too expensive to solve. CUDA was made to let anyone tap into the powerful GPU, but only on NVIDIA's hardware. It's like the difference between iMessage's blue and green bubbles, but imagine if the messages not only looked different, but also traveled faster and more efficiently. NVIDIA began building CUDA and developing libraries for it, covering everything from ocean simulation to modern computer vision. And their 2012 annual report, NVIDIA was proudly stating that GPU supercomputers were becoming more common, a trend that continues today. Your infrastructure is CUDA to GPUs, they claimed. Another development in 2012 made a huge impact, AlexNet. This AI model, named after Alex Krzyzewski, dominated a competition and was built using NVIDIA GPUs. It set a new standard, proving GPUs could significantly advance AI. From there, NVIDIA declared the AI race was on. By 2016, they had given OpenAI a supercomputer, emphasizing their commitment. Our strategy is to accelerate deep learning everywhere, for every platform, for every market, for every industry. They bought companies to improve data transmission and link more GPUs together, making NVIDIA a leader in creating high-performing GPUs and enabling them to communicate very quickly. 2016 was a big year for NVIDIA in AI, setting the stage long before many AI breakthroughs we know today. The cryptocurrency boom, which also relies on parallel computing, briefly distracted from their AI focus. As AI became a big buzzword, NVIDIA positioned itself as the backbone of this movement, saying, We are effectively an AI foundry. We will do for you and the industry on AI what TSMC does for us in building chips. Will this strategy work? NVIDIA has evolved far beyond just being a graphics card company, but the world is changing fast. The strength and future impact of NVIDIA's CUDA-based moat and their role in AI are hot topics. There are strong incentives globally to weaken NVIDIA's hold on AI through partnerships. Despite the risks of being fabless, a concern highlighted in discussions and books like Chip War, which talks about the anxiety over a few companies controlling global chip production, this model is still central to NVIDIA's strategy. But there's more to consider. This fabless approach, combined with the strong CUDA moat and NVIDIA's early use of AI through projects like AlexNet, positions them to capture a significant part of the digital and AI-driven future. If you believe AI will change our world fundamentally, then NVIDIA might just gather a fortune as big as the opportunities it chases. These three key concepts, Fabless, CUDA, and AlexNet, help us understand the complex language on NVIDIA's platforms and predict the future of this tech giant. Now let's see how NVIDIA's leadership is using these innovations to transform industries. NVIDIA's vision for a new era. Huang gave an amazing presentation in Taiwan, 
showing off the latest wonders from NVIDIA. His talk wasn't just about new products, it was about a future shaped by AI. He even said, let the robots do the work, hinting at a time when AI will handle many of our tasks. He urged everyone to stay updated with AI advancements. Many people find it hard to understand the impact of NVIDIA's work. When Jensen talks about an AI factory, he means changing how we understand and use data. During his presentation, he introduced ChatGPT, marking a big shift in AI. Before, AI was about recognizing things like language and images. Now it's about creating new content, words, pictures, charts, even complex things like proteins or weather patterns. But this wasn't the most surprising part. Jensen explained how AI can now understand and simulate physical laws like physics. An AI model could predict weather patterns down to a one kilometer radius, not by traditional methods, but by generating new data points or tokens. This isn't just limited to weather, it can apply to steering cars or moving robotic arms. This is more than just an advancement. It's the start of the generative AI era. NVIDIA's transformation of the supercomputer into a data center shows how they've become an AI factory that doesn't just process data, but creates it. This factory produces tokens, a new type of product that can be used in many industries, marking the start of a new industrial revolution. Jensen compared this to the invention of the AC generator by Nikola Tesla in the late 1890s. Just like the AC generator was crucial for electricity, NVIDIA's AI generator will change how we produce and use digital information. But this wasn't the only highlight. Jensen talked about how this new technology can scale and be repeated across different fields, changing things quickly. The IT industry, worth $3 trillion, can now serve a market potentially worth $100 trillion. This is a big change from just storing and processing data to creating valuable intelligence for all fields. Throughout the presentation, clips that used to look like simple animations now show the power of generative AI. What was once done by human animators is now created by AI. This shift changes how we see and use digital content, showing the huge potential of generative AI in every industry. Jensen's vision shows how industries can use this new technology to innovate and grow. It's not just about new tech, it's about redefining the role of computers in our world. We're not just seeing an evolution. We're at the start of a revolution in computing, driven by generative AI. What's coming next will be even more transformative, bringing an era where AI is a central part of our digital and physical lives. These are exciting times, a new chapter in technology that will reshape our future. He passionately describes how the company is at a critical point where computer graphics, simulations, and artificial intelligence come together. He calls this the soul of NVIDIA. Everything they do is based on solid math, science, and advanced computer design, all created in-house. This combination forms the foundation of their expansive virtual world known as the Omniverse. But then, NVIDIA introduces something potentially game-changing, NIMS. Compared to how Microsoft revolutionized computers with pre-packaged software, NIMS is set to redefine our interaction with AI and AI agents. Though the name NIMS might change, the idea is poised to transform our understanding and use of AI technologies. Reflecting on Microsoft's strategy, NVIDIA explains that without packaged solutions, personal computers might have remained underutilized tools. This analogy sets the stage for NVIDIA's vision, a new type of digital factory powered by NVIDIA Inference Microservices, or NIMS. These aren't just software solutions, they are pre-trained AI models ready to be deployed in this new digital factory framework. But this isn't the only exciting part. Running advanced AI systems like ChatGPT is immensely complex. Beneath the user-friendly interface, lies a sophisticated stack of software managing billions, even trillions of parameters across multiple computers and GPUs. This setup isn't confined to a single machine, but is distributed across many processing units to manage the load efficiently. This type of system architecture, 
involving various forms of parallel processing like tensor, pipeline, and data parallelism, is critical because the speed at which these systems operate directly impacts NVIDIA's service quality and revenue. The importance of data center performance has reached new heights. In today's tech landscape, every aspect of computational performance is meticulously measured, from start times and uptime to utilization and idle times. This isn't just about keeping the lights on, it's about optimizing every bit of computational power, much like how a traditional factory must maximize its production capabilities to improve its bottom line. Recognizing the complexity and the daunting task for many companies to implement such technology independently, NVIDIA has innovated a solution, AI packaged neatly within a box. This container comes loaded with an arsenal of software tools, including CUDA, QDNN, TensorRT, and Triton for inference services. It's designed to be cloud-native, allowing for seamless scaling within a Kubernetes environment. It includes management services and monitoring hooks to maintain oversight over AI systems, equipped with standard APIs that let users interact with the AI as easily as having a conversation. But there's more to it. By deploying this technology, NVIDIA makes it accessible on a massive scale, available in every cloud service and pre-installed on countless PCs globally. This democratizes access to powerful AI, enabling users everywhere to engage with sophisticated AI as simply as chatting with ChatGPT. This integration of over 400 software dependencies into a single, streamlined package exemplifies NVIDIA's approach to making high-end AI functionalities universally accessible, setting a new standard in the tech industry and potentially igniting another industrial revolution in AI. NVIDIA's move democratizes access to advanced AI, enabling users globally to engage with sophisticated AI systems easily. This could lead to exciting new innovations and applications in many fields. By providing such accessible AI technology, NVIDIA is paving the way for a future where powerful AI is within everyone's reach, making once impossible tasks achievable and opening doors to new opportunities. Let's dive into how NVIDIA tests and improves its technology across the globe. The Era of NIMS, NVIDIA's AI Breakthrough At a recent NVIDIA presentation, Huang highlighted how NVIDIA has meticulously tested each pre-trained model known as a NIM, across their extensive cloud network. These models, encompassing everything from language processing to healthcare applications, have been evaluated on various NVIDIA platforms like Pascal, Ampere, and Hopper GPUs. It's clear that these NIMs are a significant innovation for NVIDIA. NVIDIA now boasts the capability to create sophisticated large language models, which have applications across numerous domains, including healthcare, digital biology, and even digital humans. These models can be accessed easily at ai.nvidia.com. For instance, the Llama 3 NIM, fully optimized, was recently made available on Hugging Face, free for anyone to use, illustrating NVIDIA's commitment to democratizing AI technology. But this isn't the only exciting part. This technology allows the models to be run anywhere. They can be downloaded and integrated into any data center, making them readily available for any business's customers. This broad applicability spans several fields, including physics, vision enhancement, and semantic retrieval systems. The essence of utilizing these NIMS lies in their integration into larger applications, particularly in industries that rely heavily on customer service. Customer service, a field that spans various sectors such as healthcare, retail, and financial services, represents a multi-trillion dollar industry globally. Here, NIMS have the potential to revolutionize how services are delivered. They can augment the capabilities of customer service agents, from nurses to retail workers, by providing enhanced language models and AI-driven support. These NIMS are not just isolated tools, they function like team members. Some are tasked with reasoning, given a problem, they devise a plan. Others specialize in retrieving information or executing searches. 
Some may interact with specific tools or perform complex data queries like SQL. By assembling these expert NIMs into teams, NVIDIA is transforming traditional software application models. The future of applications involves assembling these AI-driven teams to tackle specific tasks. This shift moves away from writing detailed code to a more managerial role where the challenge is to orchestrate these teams effectively. Each NIM acts as a specialist, contributing its expertise to solve parts of a larger problem. The team leader, a central AI agent, coordinates these efforts, synthesizing the inputs into a coherent output that's presented back to the user. This system mirrors human teamwork, where each member plays a role, contributing to the collective outcome. The beauty of this setup is its simplicity for the user. One doesn't need to know the intricate details of how to connect these AIs. Instead, the user defines the goal, and the system intelligently delegates tasks to the appropriate NIMS. As interactions with AI become more natural, NVIDIA is advancing digital humans. These AI entities are designed to interact in a human-like manner, making communications more engaging and empathetic. By crossing what NVIDIA describes as the uncanny chasm of realism, these digital humans could soon offer a new level of interactive experience, blurring the lines between digital and real-world interactions. Jensen also shared some exciting news, diving into complex topics like route planning optimization and the traveling salesman problem, a tricky challenge that has puzzled experts for years. Traditionally, it was believed that only a quantum computer could handle such complexities. However, NVIDIA has changed that belief by developing an algorithm that operates on fast computing platforms, setting 23 world records in the process. The key tool behind this breakthrough is called Ku Quantum, an emulation system that mimics a quantum computer. This is crucial for researchers who want to design quantum algorithms and computers, but lack access to actual quantum machines. NVIDIA's solution uses the fastest computer available today, powered by NVIDIA CUDA, with an emulator that simulates quantum computing environments. But this isn't the most amazing part. This emulator is now a vital tool for hundreds of researchers around the world. Some even speculate that our universe might be a simulation, a theory gaining traction as technology advances to simulate complex realities. By significantly reducing the cost of computing, NVIDIA is creating an environment where developers, scientists, and inventors can discover new algorithms that need more computing power. This approach has already changed the landscape, making it possible to train large language models with extensive internet data, a concept now widely accepted and used. NVIDIA's innovations also impact the creation of artificial intelligence. Affordable computing has helped AI grow, moving from human-supervised methods that needed lots of labeling to unsupervised methods that let systems like transformers learn from vast amounts of unstructured data on their own. These systems analyze massive datasets, text, video, or images, to find patterns and relationships without human help. But this isn't the end of the story. Looking to the future, NVIDIA is working on developing AI systems that understand the laws of physics, essential for creating realistic images, videos, 3D graphics, and simulating physical events. One way to train these advanced AI models is through synthetic data from simulations. Another way is by allowing computers to learn from each other, similar to how AlphaGo improves by playing against itself. The potential for AI to improve and evolve independently through self-play and synthetic data is immense. As AI systems create their own training data via reinforcement learning, the demand for more computing power will grow, requiring further advancements in computing capabilities. NVIDIA's vision includes a world where everything is automated and intelligent, driven by AI systems that understand and interact with the physical world. And there's more. In this future, the idea of robotics expands far beyond humanoid robots. It includes a broader application where factories are fully automated with robots managing other robots, creating products in a seamless robotic production cycle. This transformation promises a new era where AI and robotics come together, 
reshaping industries and everyday life in profound ways. As NVIDIA pioneers AI that learns independently and shapes our future, will this advance usher in an era of boundless innovation or ethical challenges? Like, comment, and subscribe for more.